Three children dead, another's life changed forever. Two years later, the emotional and physical healing continues. Family and friends held a vigil tonight on the anniversary of that fatal fire. WLKY's Ben Jackie is in New Albany with a look at a vigil that was held for the young victims just a short time ago. Ben? Yeah, Rick, it was two years ago to the day that fire crews were here trying to save four young children that were inside a home that was on fire at the time. That building has since been raised, and right now it's nothing more than an empty field. In a matter of speaking, family members say their hearts are empty as well, even after all of this time that has passed. Within the last hour, balloons were sent up into what family says is the heavens in the hope that the three young victims would catch them. Two-year-old Trinity, four-year-old Tyrese, and six-year-old Tyja Hughes were killed after Cody Cashin fired a flare that landed in the home. Cashin is serving a 65-year sentence for arson and murder. Now, seven-year-old Tatiana is the lone survivor of the children who were inside. Her grandmother, who organized the vigil, says physically Tatiana's recovery continues, but mentally and emotionally, the young girl is still struggling with the loss of her siblings. It's like the older she gets, the more aware she is of what happened. She's uh, almost inconsolable nowadays. It's hard to get her to smile anymore. She cries a lot. She misses them a lot. Now, even two years since all of this happened, Tatiana is still undergoing surgeries. Uh, she also is having steroids um, injections into her back because she is having balance problems with one of the feet that she lost toes on. Now, there's still a memorial fund for the family at Fifth Third, but family members tonight say what they need more than anything from this community are prayers. Live here in New Albany, I'm Ben Jackie, WLKY News. Thank you, Ben.